everyone, welcome back to TSR Thrift Sell Repeat. I am Ellen, your friend in the thrifting business. I am your thrifting friend. Isn't it great that we can um, find friends via uh, things like YouTube? I think that's just so cool. You don't really have to be in the same state. You don't have to be in the same neighborhood to develop really lasting friendships. I know I had a prior channel um, when I had a soap making business and I met such wonderful friends um, doing that. I had great subscribers um, so I am hoping to be able to do that um, with this new business venture that I have now which is of course thrifting, selling, repeating. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I go ahead and I thrift and, and I uh, sell on eBay and I now have a booth at an antique mall that I also bring goodies to that I have thrifted and I sell there as well. Things are going really well and I am excited to share this journey with you. I just recently turned 55 so this is kind of like a new adventure for me and um, not at all an expert at it but certainly having so much fun doing this and um, I am thrilled to have you along uh, for the journey. So um, this is another uh, daily um, wrap up or da daily um, haul video I guess you would call it. I want to show you what I picked up um, when I was out and about um, on my latest thrift shopping excursions and um, we might as well just go ahead and get right into it. And the first thing that I wanted to talk about today were um, bags, baggies. <laughs> I don't know if your Goodwills or your Salvation Armies do this. Um, I know Thrifters that I watch like the Niche Lady or Thrifting Vegas or um, Lavender Clotheslines, um, the Crazy Lamp Lady, all four of those um, are ladies that I watch religiously. Um, they're kind of the ones that got me started on this little adventure. Um, their Goodwills and their Salvation Armies do um, put things in baggies. And they always say, check the baggies, because you would be surprised what is in a baggie. So um, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to, um, gosh, I don't know if I should aim the camera down a little bit so that you could see the items better. Well, maybe I'll hold them up. Um, this baggie right here, it's pretty heavy. It's a pretty big bag. Um, it was $4.97 at my local Salvation Army. And what caught my attention were these really pretty wooden and hand-painted napkin rings. And I'm going to take them out of, the bag, uh, out of the baggie to show you. So there are a set of six of these really pretty napkin rings and they're hand painted and there are six of these. I'm gonna put them down here and then um, I'll move the camera so you can see them better. So there were six of those in this bag. And then um, there were also, let's see, one, two, I'm sorry about my phone there, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. There were eight wooden triangular napkin rings. Now these are have no painting on them, but um, they're still pretty cool. Um, there were eight of those in the bag, and then there were these weird, I don't know what to call these, but these are what gave the bag the weight that the bag had. There are one, two, three, four, five, there are six of these. I have no idea what these are. They're, they almost feel like um, a heavy metal. They have um, a spot in them, a hole in them, and so I was kind of wondering if they were maybe 
supposed to be like feet for something. I, I don't know, but these were in the bag. Um, there were, like I said, uh, I think, let's say six of those. So um, for $4.97 for the whole entire bag, not so shabby because those napkin rings um, alone, I mean, I will probably sell them for six bucks. Um, and then the other set, probably for six, six bucks as well. So, um, you know, a perfectly fine profit. Let me see if I can turn the camera. Okay, so I think that's better. I think you can, you can kind of get a better um, angle of the items. So six of the uh, napkin rings with the hand painted uh, flowers and leaves on them and then six of these wooden ones and I don't know what these are. So, um, you know, never underestimate what can be in a bag. Um, if there could be some really, really good finds in there. So let me move on to the next bag. Whoops. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did you just see that go flying? Okay, well that could be like in a, in a, some sort of blooper reel. Um, I don't know what these are. Gosh, they're awfully heavy. Okay, moving right along. The next bag was this bag here. And it was $6.97 for the bag. And right away I saw that there were quality items in this bag. Such a cool bag. I didn't even bother to, to look at it. I just stuck it in the cart right away. So there is this family hand-carved family um, here. All of these were in this bag for $6.99. They are so cool. I don't know if you could see them. They're really beautifully done, hand-carved. Um, you could tell they're vintage. They kind of look like either German or um, maybe Swedish people. Um, I love her. She's like the the mama matriarch and she is just gorgeous. And he's really cool too. Um, now he's, I don't know, he's got like this beanie on the back of his head. So then I was kind of thinking, is there like a Jewish element to it? I, I don't know. I don't know that kind of stuff. So I apologize if I'm offending somebody, but all I know is they're gorgeous. He's sitting with a pipe. The expression on the face is really, really beautiful. So they were in the bag. So I'm going to put them a little further away so I could show you what else was in the bag. Okay, so they were in there. And then there were these gorgeous animal napkin rings. They're like a safari hand carved wooden animal uh, napkin rings. Look at them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There were seven. So one was missing for a set of eight, which is which is kind of a shame. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot one more figure. He was in there too. This guy was in there too. So I gotta put him with the, I gotta put him here with the, with the people. Let's see it. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's blooper number two. So he almost seems, I think his foot might be chipped a little bit. He almost seems like he's the same size as her, and then it almost seems like these two go together. But anyway, th that was the family. And look at these beautiful, beautiful hand-carved napkin rings. I mean, they are just exquisite. I love these. These do not go in my home decor or else I would keep these. Oh my gosh, they're so cool. They're so cool. 
So I have to do a little research on how much I want to charge for these. I was doing a little bit of research last night, and it looks to me like these, the family, could possibly be black forest wood, it's called. Um, but I'm not sure. So if somebody knows, please leave a comment below. There are no markings anywhere on any of these. Um, this particular set of the napkin rings, these are made in Kenya because the bottom of them say made in Kenya. And um, I did look these up and these um, run anywhere from $20 to $25 for um, a set of six. So, you know, I have seven. I have one extra. So I will probably not bring these to the booth. I think I will put these on eBay and... I will sell these for, um, I will list them for $25. Um, the family, again, going to have to do a little bit more research. They are so cool. Um, but I am thinking maybe anywhere from 6 to $8 a piece for each of them. That's kind of what I was thinking. And I think, again, I think I would put them on eBay. I'm just not sure that they'll get um, they'll get as much interest at the booth. So for a bag of that cost me six dollars and ninety seven cents, this was great. There was also in here a couple of little. Let me move these back. A couple of little elephants. There were two, I think, elephants. And there were two little Pekingese dogs <laughs> that were in there as well. So I can sell those as well, you know, probably $3 a piece. I mean, what a great find this was. Absolutely love this bag. Um, the next thing that I found, of course these were not in bags, were these roosters. They were on the shelf. Believe it or not, they are not chipped. I mean, I can't get over it. I was with my daughter and she was looking at them and she was like, Wow, Mom, I, you know, I don't see a chip. Um, I don't see a crack anywhere. These are left in. These are left in. They are marked. They are numbered. Um, they're salt and pepper shakers, and I could tell right away when she pointed them out to me on the shelf, these were a good find. These were quality. Um, I think for these roosters, these will, these will go in the booth, and what did I put these at? I think I will probably ask 15 for the set. So I will put these over here. The next thing I found were these coasters, and these are wooden coasters that someone has decoupaged with some really pretty pink and uh, teal um, paper. Um, they're really pretty. There's only four of them, um, and this one needs to be cleaned. But um, I thought those were really pretty. Those are cute. And I picked those up. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me tell you. The roosters were $1.99 each. These were $0.99 cents each. So this was 4 bucks for the set. Probably I'm not going to get much, much more than, than that for these. Um, but that's okay. I picked them up anyway. They were too cute. I am probably thinking um, $8 for the set of these. Um, the next thing I found were these little Amish salt and pepper shakers. They're vintage, they're metal, they're painted metal. They are definitely vintage. You could tell the cork on the bottom. They're not marked, but they're just really cute. And I love them just the way they are with the paint kind of distressed on them. Uh, those were 50 cents each, and I think I can get probably $7, 6 to $7 for the set. That was those. I can't remember if I showed these in another haul video or not. These were 
vintage bunnies. Um, and I just thought they were adorable. They were so cute. With Easter coming, why not? Um, they're made in China, but you could tell with the felt on the bottom that they have age to them. Um, I cleaned them up a little bit. They were quite dirty, but they're cute. And they're not perfect. I mean, they're not chipped, but the, the paint is a little bit distressed on them. But I love them just the way they are. These uh, were, how much did I pay for those? Let me, let me look at my little handy dandy sheet here. I think I paid 99 cents each for those. And um, I think for the set I can get $8 for these. So let me put them over there. As you've heard me say in other videos, I am not a super high price seller. I do not, um, I don't want to be a long tail seller as they call it. I don't want to hang on to my items for a really, really long time. I would like to move the items because I love shopping and I love buying new items. <laughs> so, um, could I probably get more than what I'm going to price them at? Yes, but I want to price them to move. Um, and it's going to be the quantity of items that sell, not necessarily how much I make on each item that is how I'm going to run my business. It might not work for you, so that's something to keep in mind. You may want you know, to purchase these and, hang, and sell them for 20 bucks, but you might hang on to them longer. That's perfectly fine. Um, there was this shoe. It is kind of made to look like a Lefton, uh, not a Lefton, Lennox, but it is not Lennox. Actually, it's not marked at all, um, but it was pretty, and people really do collect these shoes, so I liked it. That, um, let's see, the shoe was $1.99, I think, and uh, I think I can easily get six bucks probably for this shoe. Um, the next item was this vase. It has a dog that is hugging the vase. It's really cute. There's no chips. Um, it is made in China. Um, you can see I paid a dollar ninety nine for it, but orange was half price on this day. So really I paid a dollar for it. Um, I think easily can get probably um, anywhere from six to eight dollars for this cute little vase. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit. I haven't cleaned that one up yet. This one, uh, this one was six ninety nine, but it was half off. Color day. Um, this almost looks like a little bit of luster wear. I think they call it. Trying to take that tag off to see what it says. Uh, this was made in Germany. There is a marking on it. It was made in Germany. It's a really beautiful, very pretty. No chips on. Um, oh, I'm sorry. There is a little chip on the leaf. Little chip on the leaf. So I will either repair this or sell it as is. And I think I can easily get. Um, eight to ten dollars for this. It's really beautiful. Really, the color is super pretty when you look at the color. It's very stunning. Um, the next thing, I honestly don't know where the second one is, but I know I bought two of these. One was salt and one was pepper. These are quite old. You can tell by the, the um, stopper on the bottom. Nice quality. There's some crazing um, going on. It's just this cute little scene with um, these little um, houses and cows and a little a little uh, a gal. Um, I know there's a second one to this. I, it's got to be somewhere here in one of these bags. I just can't find it. But these were 99 cents each on half price day. So um, 50 cents each. Like I said, there's a second one. And I know the set, I can easily get $8 for that set. And then finally, there was this basket. Um, it is not marked, but there is a lot of uh, crazing on the bottom. Um, I, it's good quality. Um, 
it's kind of made to look, I think, like Capo de Monte, but it fails. <laughs> um, it, I, I know, I, I know, I'm just, the name of this is escaping me, but there's a name for this. Uh, this type of uh, design and, and ceramics. Um, shoot, I can't think of the name. It's just out of my brain. Anyway, there's no chips, uh, which is surprising. And let's see, it was $6.99, but it was half price day, so it was uh, a little over $3. Um, I can easily, easily get $10 for this. Um, the other thing, uh, I wish I could find that second salt shaker, that would be helpful. The other thing I found were these trays. Let me show them to you. There's three of them. It's a set of three trays. And it's kind of like, there's two here. The third one I have in, I brought items toward, to my kitchen to clean out. But they were, there's three of these. And they stack one inside the other. I think this is fiberglass. Um, and the the items inside, or not the items, but the images inside, they're little seed packets. They're vintage looking seed packets. Really, really cute. And the the, the set of three of them together it was three ninety nine. What a what a find that was. I thought that was a great deal. And guess what? My youngest daughter, yeah, she was like, Mom, I have to have those. <laughs> So these I will not be selling. I will be giving them to her. Um, but that was that was really a great find. That was a lot of fun to find those. So that's it for this uh, daily wind down um, roundup. I don't know why I can't think of the right word to use for that. Um, I want to call it the daily roundup. Why am I thinking wind down? I don't know. Anyway, I'm learning, you guys. Um, <laughs> here are the items from this haul. This was a quick little haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I think I found some great items. And I will report back and let you know what they sell for. If you enjoyed this quick little video, please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps me out a lot if you give it a thumbs up. Remember, um, I love receiving comments. Correct me on anything you want to correct me on. If I've called something wrong item, please let me know. As I've said, um, I'm just starting this journey, and I am by no means an expert. Um, if there's anything you see here that you might be interested in, you could drop me a line at um, TSR, that's T as in Tom, S as in Sam, R as in Robert, vintage finds at gmail.com. Please either um, really describe the item you're talking about or send me a picture of the item you're talking about. If I still have it and you would like it, uh, you can purchase it from me at the price I mentioned. All right, everyone, have a great afternoon, and I will see you real soon. Stop the presses. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Do you remember earlier in this video when I talked about finding in a baggie these wooden figurines? It's like a family. There are, um, see if I can hold them all up. There were five total. There were five um, people. And there were two dogs. This is kind of a, um, this is kind of a hint to you. When you think you've got something good, don't rush. I was going to sell these at the booth for eight 
actually the, the smaller one, six dollars each, and the bigger one, eight dollars each. I did some more research. Do you know what these are? These are vintage. Let me get the name of this. Huggler Weiss. H-U-G-G-L-E-R Weiss W-Y-S-S Cart Figurines One of these goes from anywhere from $70 to $90 a piece. There was a set of two kind of like these that recently sold two of the two for $275. Wow. I found these five in a bag with other items for $6.97. Cha-ching! <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. I hope you decide to do this too, because once you get into it, it is so much fun. I cannot wait to list these on eBay. I'm going to list them as a set, and I'm going to see how many bids I get on them. But probably as a set, if two went for $300, you can imagine what five plus two dogs will go for. And if I think that they're just not going to sell, as I said, I'll just sell them individually for 70 bucks each. And maybe the dogs at like, you know, 30 bucks each. What an incredible find. I just wanted to let you know, it is worth doing the research to double check. I thought they were just simply carved wooden families, family members. My heart's beating fast. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye.